What's invisible in the water, foamy on the surface and deadly to sea creatures and is now stinking up South Australia's coastline? Miss Beckham in the Year 3 and 4 classes at Redeemer Lutheran School in the Barossa Valley wrote to Squiz Kids Science Shorts to ask, what is a harmful algal bloom and why is the one in South Australia so bad? Great question, let's investigate. Now, algae aren't plants, but they're tiny organisms that live in water and soak up sunlight. And most of the time, they're harmless and even really helpful. Some produce half the oxygen in our atmosphere. But when conditions are just right, like there's extra warm water and extra nutrients from fertilizers and from animal waste, algae can grow out of control. And that's what's happening off South Australia right now. Problem number one, floods in 2022 and 2023 washed nitrogen and phosphates from farms down the Murray River. Then in 23 and 24, a cold upswell brought those nutrients to the surface and it's September 2024, a marine heat wave began with sea temperatures averaging two and a half degrees warmer than normal. Thanks climate change. And all this formed the perfect recipe for a bloom. That would be Karenia mikimotoi. This algae releases toxins and creates a brown, foamy scum that floats on the surface. Sound harmless? Not at all. That sea foam clogs up the gills of fishes, crabs, rays, even seahorses, <gasps> blocking their oxygen supply. They can't breathe and they suffocate. But that is just the start. Karenia mikimotoi also releases a nerve toxin called a brevitoxin. It poisons small sea creatures like pippies, snails and worms, which are then food for bigger animals. Rays, sharks, dolphins, turtles and even seabirds end up poisoned or starving, suffering nerve damage. More than 500 species are being affected. The entire marine food web from bottom to top. And dogs near the water have been falling sick too. So when will it all end? Well, scientists hope that cooler winter water and changing ocean currents will help to break it up. It's a powerful reminder of how climate change and pollution can tip nature off balance and why protecting our oceans matters more than ever. Got a science question you're curious about? Pop it in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a thing. Or you can email me at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au just like Miss Beckham did.